Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette. Here with my next video, and in this one, I'm talking about some of the things that are on my uh, wish list, I guess you could call it, for the next update. Because as you guys know, we're approaching winter, at least in the northern hemisphere, uh, and Finland, where uh, or Helsinki specifically, where Superstar is headquartered, uh, they have some very long winters there, and I think that most of the developers are going to be stuck in the office for most of the winter, uh, which is probably not the best thing for them, but good for us. That typically means some more content because typically they take the summers off to a certain extent uh, and enjoy the short summer in in Finland. So we should have some more uh, focus from the developers uh, coming up in the next few months. Because of that, I want to talk a little bit about what I want to see in the game because uh, there's a few different things. Now we do have the clan challenges that were um, pretty seriously talked about. Uh, there was the forum post and I think that that's something we're going to see. I don't think they would have posted that unless they were pretty sure they were going to add it to the game. So like I said before, I think it's a matter of if or not. I mean, it's a matter of when, not if. I think it should come probably sooner than later, especially uh, because the post was now a little while back. So we should ha be able to look forward to the clan challenges. But um, I like to do these videos where I talk about other stuff that I want to see. So I'll get right into it. And first th few things are kind of balancing. Because one thing that's great about Clash of Clans um, historically is that there's been, you know, fluctuations. Some troops are really powerful. Lava Hounds were powerful for a long time. But usually pretty much every troop and every spell has some purpose in war. And I think that recently the balance has shifted a little bit. Not as much that things are too powerful. Now you could argue maybe Miners are too powerful at Town Hall 10. Uh, bowlers are too powerful at Town Hall 9. Those are definitely valid points, especially Bowlers at Town Hall 9. But nothing too blatantly overpowered, in my opinion at least. Um, the Bowlers aren't that bad at Town Hall 9, at least from my perspective. You guys might have a different view on that. But the thing we're seeing is stuff not being used at all, really. And those things specifically are witches, the clone spell, and the skeleton spell. And I want to see those three things used in some way um, after the update. So I think Supercell needs to find a way to make those relevant again. I think the witch nerf uh, was a little bit too much at Town Hall, uh, um, at Town Hall, well, all Town Hall levels that have witches. But it was intended to nerf the Town Hall 11 Mass Witch. I think they can maybe try to do something to make it not as viable with the Grand Warden. Not too overpowered at Town Hall 11. But bring it back, especially for Town Hall 9 and Town Hall 10. Because I think Witches are a fun troop to use. Uh, I'd like to see them at Town Hall 9 especially. I think they were, they were awesome when you could use Witches back at Town Hall 9. Even Town Hall 10 would be nice to see. Um, and as long as that doesn't make them too powerful at Town Hall 11, that would be a nice little thing to see. Um, the Clone Spell... I have, it's never been powerful. Same with the uh, skeleton spell. I guess they added them and they were a little bit wary of previous miners and bowlers and all that stuff that had been too overpowered right when it was added. So they wanted to make some, uh, some changes and add things that weren't as powerful, but I think they went too far the other direction. Something that maybe makes there be more skeletons added with the skeleton spell, uh, the the clone spell. Maybe the troops are permanent. One thing I think is always weird is that the the cloned troops I think disappear after a while. If I'm correct on that, or something weird like that. So I think they should make it so that it actually clones troops permanently, and it's kind of an option to to kind of add troop space instead of using uh, the spell space. So that kind of has a cool option. Allows you to customize your attack for certain bases. I'd like to see. Um, which is clone spell and skeleton spell brought back um, at some of the upper town hall levels. I think that would kind of keep the balance of the game, keep attacks fresh and dynamic at town hall 9, 10, 11, etc. So those things would be nice to see. Um, and probably a nerf for bowlers at town hall 9. I think that you could argue miners at town hall 10, but really the most pressing nerf needed right now is going to be the the bowlers at town hall 9. Something, Some kind of defensive system at town hall 9 just to give Town Hall 9 bases a little bit of a um, some traction back, because right now I think Town Hall 9 is a little bit too easy to 3-star. So yeah, those things would be nice to see the troops adjusted. A few smaller things that, you know, war channels, even big channels that aren't necessarily just clan wars, they don't get talked about enough in my opinion, and you know, some people aren't going to like this, but I want to see customizable heroes. I've talked about this probably 3-4 times on my channel. 
Um, the ability to change what your hero looks like. Maybe it has your queen has a green cape, your king has a different colored, I don't know, sandals. It kind of seems a little bit stupid, but honestly, I think that's what makes it cool. Being able to customize your troops, really make your village and your army yours and different from other people's. So I think that would be one thing to be cool. Maybe as your queen upgrades to 20, 30, she gets more options for customization. That would be nice. Single player maps, again, if they could do some kind of cool stuff where maybe like one base has a ton of Teslas, and I know one already exists like that, but new stuff that actually has stuff that's not from like three years ago, that has new defenses, all that new stuff that we don't uh, we don't see in the current single player maps. If they could bring like a, a weekly or a monthly uh, few single player maps, that would be awesome. It would, you know, add a new dimension to the game. People always talk about wanting new game modes. Single player is a, a game mode. It just, no one ever uses it because it's so um, irrelevant for most people because they've beaten it or they're just way too good for it. So single players, that would be nice. Uh, a, another thing for friendly challenge you shouldn't have to train up the army. I think that it's awesome that you don't lose the army, but people are still spending gems and resources to train the army, then adjust it based on the base. I think it should be zero train time, zero cost to you to cook up that army. Just make it, you know, you go into a different mode and your farming army is separate from that. So you can just go into a completely different screen and have a completely different army. That way it would allow even more innovation, make it a little bit easier, but maybe Super So isn't motivated to do that because they like people gemming their armies for friendly challenge. So we'll see about that. Final thing, uh, just gonna throw this out here, invisible walls, that might be cool. Uh, walls that, you know, you get 10 of them maybe, and they just pop up and you don't know where they're gonna be. Add a new thing that you, don't, you can't plan for. Some more uh, variables, things that could go wrong at Town Hall 8 maybe, Town Hall 9, some of the lower Town Hall levels especially where you have you know attacks being almost too predictable in how they're going to work out. It's too easy to three star. So just you know, crazy idea, invisible walls. I don't know how that would, what the implications of that would be. Maybe it would have some crazy effects that aren't worth it, but just an idea for you guys. So anyway, hope you liked the video. That's all I have for you guys today. Let me know what you want to see in the next update below and also what you think about my ideas. I'll be sure to check that out. And I'm looking forward to what Supercell has in store for us. And I'll do my best to keep the videos coming out, probably with a base build tomorrow. So look forward <clears throat> to that. I'll see you guys then. Bisect the Tron out.